Now with inputs in Python, this is where one of the major changes has happened between Python 2.7 and Python 3. So if you're using anything lower than Python 3.0, then you'll need to first listen to the first half of this video. And if you're using Python 3 and onwards, you need to listen to the second half of this video. So the first half is that if you are using Python 2.7 or any version of below Python 3, that you need to use an, um, a function called raw input to get the inputs. And this takes um, one parameter, which is the prompt. Now the prompt is whatever you have out, want to have outputted towards the user. Now the problem with raw input is that it's no longer a function within uh, Python 3. And so you, if you were to change your code towards Python 3, it would no longer work. Now there is a function called input. However, this allows the code which somebody actually writes to be able to be executed. So if they were to um, insert as their data a certain type of code, um, which is Python, which can be read by Python, it will get run by Python, which is obviously a quite a large security flaw. And the only way that you can get around that is to use the raw input. Now, if you're using Python 3, you have the actual function of input. However, it no longer uses um, the evaluation uh, function, which will actually run whatever code they put into it. Now, if you want that functionality to be available, you have to put eval around Python, around the input function, and that will run whatever code they put into it. However, most of the time, you aren't looking to do anything like that. So if you are using Python 3, you can simply use the input function, which is what you should be able to be, just do. If you're using Python 2.7, I would recommend that you upgrade to Python 3 because it is much more secure. So now if we're going to create a print function, um, all we need to do is just output two lines and then we'll do a prompt. And this is to get somebody to press, uh, press any key to continue. So the first output will be something like, um, something like hello Alex and then I'll just do uh, the final one saying thank you. Now in the between here we're going to do an input. Now with the input it takes one parameter which is the prompt. So the prompt here I'm going to do is press any key to continue. And now if we run this you'll see at the bottom we get the first two lines however the third line isn't showing because the prompt has not been because the input hasn't been given. Now press any key to continue. If I press enter, you see that we now get the thank you, which is what you'd expect to happen, which is um, how uh, press any key to continue works, is that it takes whatever value you press and it just runs it to the next one, runs you to the next line. Now, this is something which you'll use quite often within Python, as well as what we're going to cover in the next video, which is receiving a data input. So uh, I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching.